the main thing which i observe in gunjan is that she can see anything in a different way when we visit to a temple there we can only go for a devotional perspective what i observed that she is looking for a sculptures means how it is built she was actually explaining me see mom this is made of the stone there are many students who want to be part of uh, yantra project like this and they are saying okay any possibility that we can be part of it because they feel that this is an opportunity where they can explore learn and then develop uh, in in so many ways changes that i have seen in my learners through this competition is that they find history more interesting they find history very fun they have developed so many skills communication skills collaboration skills in the process of doing the project they have also developed so many qualities in them like rigor trust appreciation my students they really enjoyed going out into the community interacting with the community learning from the community basically you know enriching their understanding on the historical concept basically from the community so that that was uh, very interesting in bhutan we have so many statues we have so many paintings in temples monasteries and many of our youths uh, students they are not aware of the significance and through this project they got to you know learn about uh, the importance this should not be you know uh, kept with themselves they have to share in this process every day i find something new something different they learn design the plan of the project and evaluate the outcome these two things majorly i observe they don't have all the time they depend on the teacher teacher will design the plan teacher will do that in this time when madhu and deepa have to design the plan by their own every step not a single step on the seven steps of project based learning in every step they have to evaluate the outcome also they learn to identify a unique challenges and problems because these challenges are new for them and investigate the challenge using the inquiry process they do the kiri together they do a photogrammetry together they have to create a visual library together together and the research plan which needs very very good attention and very good research so explore the ideas of other and challenge them i will give an example of uh, one student take a narsimha statue and he wants to connect with darwin theory and other student called me and say ma'am tripti this is this will not happen I have already I have a story and this story is popular story why we uh, attach with the darwin theory so they fight with each other they conclude each other they find a road between the woods and move forward so this is absolutely new otherwise last two years we teach all the students online but this is new for me also so this project give them opportunity to apply their own learning cycles and own learning styles and own learning speed first time they and really understand what is a liberal teaching learning the humanities technology mathematics all all come together